Portage has a variable called features that is used to enable certain specific functionality. The features variable is one of the primary ways that you as a user can customize your own Portage system to your needs. Using the features variable you can do things like set up distributed compiling or enable Portage to make use of certain external packages that it is not able to use by default. Now in this video I'm going to go over some of the basics about the features variable and how to enable certain functionality yourself. This video is not going to be a deep dive onto all of the different things that the features variable can be used to let Portage do, but it will cover some of the absolute basics and hopefully give you a jump start on using features yourself. I'll begin with a description. As I said, features is a built-in variable of Portage that is used to enable certain functionality. Specifically, this functionality is usually performance or security related, and it oftentimes makes use of additional packages and external software that extend Portage's abilities. The features variable really works kind of like a use flag, if you've seen my previous video on use flags, in that it is a list of different keywords that turn on and off certain functionality. Your Portage profile is going to turn on certain features by default, and in fact you can check which features you have enabled in the Portage features variable in a few different ways, but the best way that I know is with the Portage Q command. You can run Portage Q, E and V, VAR, and then in all caps, features, and then we can pipe that to XRG-N1, and we can see a nice looking list of all of the features that we have enabled. Now we can learn what all of these features do and what all various features are actually available by running man5make.conf and then searching for features. The features documentation is included in the make.conf man page because features is, for you, the user, usually set in the make.conf file. Now we can scroll down through this page and see the descriptions of what all of the various features keywords will actually do. And it's important to note that the features variable is additive. That is that whatever you set for your custom features variable in your make.comp file is going to be added to the features variables previously existing settings that are defined in your profile. Now I'm just going to briefly show you how to use the features variable and we're going to do it with the candy feature, which as it says here, enables a special progress indicator when Emerge 1 is calculating dependencies. If we get out of here, I can show you what Emerge does right now. Let me do Emerge-P and then a package like DWM. And as you can see, the progress indicator here is just, was just sort of a spinning little symbol. But now we can change that with a Portage feature just to demonstrate how to use Portage features by going to Etsy Portage Make.conf. And in this file, we will add a features section. Now, like use flags, the features variable is a space delimited list of keywords, and the one that we want to add here is candy for the feature that will change the way that the emerge progress indicator looks. So, with that done, we can just do right quit here, and let's once again do emerge DWM. As you can see, it looks a little different now. It'll actually display a little message. There are a few different ones that will display. Um, that goes by a little quickly, but for a big uh, package you were trying to emerge, it would look a little different, and you could see how it spells out different messages. Now, that gives you a good idea how to enable certain features in make.com, but let's say that we want to disable certain features. Well, once again, I'm going to run Portage Q EMVVAR features so that we can see what features we have enabled. And you can see here that Candy is included in this list now because we've enabled it in our make.conf file. But let's go back up and edit the make.conf file again. What if we want to disable a feature that's enabled by default in the profile? Well, just like with use flags, the syntax to do that with the features variable is the minus sign. As you can see here, we have features minus candy now rather than just features candy, and that will actually disable the candy keyword in Portage. So let's go ahead and get out of here. And now if I were to run the EMV var again, you can see that candy is no longer there. If I clear a little space here and once again emerge dash P D W M, you can see we have the old spinning progress indicator. So that's very useful. Using the make.conf features variable, you can actually add new features to Portage or disable the features that already are enabled by default in your profile. That gives you total control over your features variable and the various things that you can have your Portage installed do.
One last thing I want to talk about, as you can see here, I'm back in the features section of the make.conf man page. I want to mention this sandbox variable right here. As you can see, the description of feature says the sandbox feature is very important and should not be disabled by default. What Sandbox actually does is it causes Portage to build its packages in the least privileged way possible and to do so in the temporary build directory rather than on the live file system. What this means is if there is a mistake in an e-build or a package that is damaging to the system as it is being installed, that's not a huge problem for Portage because everything is normally by default thanks to the Sandbox feature built with low privileges in the temporary build directories. If you were to turn off the sandbox feature then that would cause everything that Portage installs to be built with root privileges and on the live file system. That's extremely dangerous and there's basically no reason that you as a user would ever want to turn off the sandbox variable. It's enabled by default in every profile on Portage and it should be enabled by default on your system so you definitely want to leave that on. Building in the temporary build directory is an important useful security feature that Portage has and you definitely want to keep that on. I was just going to make a note of that since I showed you how to disable certain features you probably, I would say almost definitely, do not want to disable Sandbox. Alright, before I go, the last thing that I want to talk about is the AMD64 handbook page on the Gentoo Wiki that talks about Portage features. This is a very useful page that will give you some information about certain features, keywords, and what they do, such as with distributed compiling using DISCC, and information about Ccache feature, and several others. This is a good page because it goes over a lot of the common and very, very useful things that a non-developer might want to use the feature variable for, so it's definitely worth checking out, and I will link this in the description of the video and using the knowledge that you gained in this video you can enable and work with these features if you find something on this page it looks like something you might want to do all right everybody thank you so much for watching um hopefully this video was helpful to you if you didn't have much knowledge about portage features before hopefully this gives you the ability to learn more about them and use them to do your own portage customization there are quite a lot of features as you can tell from the man page and uh, there are probably a few individual ones that I'll actually go over using in future videos. Um, I don't use too many Portage features myself currently, but I'm intending to learn more about them as time goes on. So I'm going to share some of that with you as I learn it. But thank you all for watching, and we will see you next time.